Hey guys, Ash here from C4E Tech and with the iPhone 6s and the 6s Plus having been out for a while now and my iPhone 6s being stuck in customs, I've been reading up a lot about these phones. And one weird thing I noticed was the conflicting battery life reports. So some say it's okay, some say it's bad and I basically chalked it up to fanboyism. But turns out there might have been an actual real explanation for this. So here's the story. This time around, May, maybe to meet public demand or maybe to reduce dependence on Samsung, Apple sourced production of their N9, N9 chip to both Samsung and TSMC. Anand Tech has a detailed article on this, check that out for in-depth info. The short version, popular expectation was that Samsung's smaller chip was to be more power efficient. But initial reports coming out seem to indicate that it's actually the TSMC chips that seem to be more power efficient, and by quite a margin nonetheless. A Reddit user who has two 6S Pluses did a Geekbench comparison only to find battery life almost 25% better on a 6S Plus with the TSMC chip inside. So well, I got curious and decided to find out which chip my 6S has. I mean, I just got my 6S yesterday. Sadly though, I have a Samsung chip here. So here's how you find out which chip you have. So head on over to the App Store, search and download a free app called Liram Device Info Lite. Open it and you, you'd have your model. So if you, like me, have N71 AP, then that's a Samsung chip inside. N66 AP if it's a 6S Plus. N71 MAP and N66 MAP are codes for the TSMC chip inside the 6S and 6S Plus respectively. There's also a developer who's been collecting info trying to chart the split of the CPUs. As of now, it seems 50-50 overall, 60-40 in favor of Samsung chips for the 6S, 70-30 in favor of the TSMC chips for the 6S Plus. So I'll leave a link to that page in the description in case you guys are curious. So uh, guys, fair warning, this has not been officially confirmed by Apple yet, or I don't see them confirming it, but anyway, it's just a little something I came across and I, and I thought you guys would find it interesting. So here's me sharing it with you. So what chip do you have, Samsung or TSMC, and how's your battery faring? Let me know in the comments below. And if anyone uh, owns two iPhones, two iPhone 6S or 6S Pluses, with different chips do test it out and post your findings let me know in the comments or hit me up on twitter and uh by the way do follow me on twitter at c4e tech and i'll keep you guys updated on this issue as it develops so i guess that's it for this video thumbs up if you like it subscribe for more and till next time this is ash here from c4e tech signing off you guys have a great day bye bye now